What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the T.A. Show. Welcome, everybody. I'm Titan Anderson. You cannot spell Titans without putting that T.A. in it. Fellas, 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 what is going on, bro? Let me bring up the... Uh, let me bring up the, the chat section a little bit bigger so that I can get to you guys, man. This shit's crazy, bro. How are we all doing, bro? Like, honestly, how are we all feeling? Hopefully, everybody out there is having a good time. This need, thing needs to stop moving. Like, what the fuck? Hopefully, everybody out there is having a pretty good time. Uh, damn, bro. There's been a lot that's happened. There's a lot going on. Uh, so, I wanted to make sure that I'm, I'm able to kind of talk to you guys and hang out for a little bit. Shout out to all my mods, man. Everybody knows who you are. I appreciate all my mods for always supporting the channel. You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. Uh, let me say what's up to everybody real quick. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. I like all that in the chat. Everybody, how we feeling, y'all? Let's go, man. Let's have some fun tonight, bro. Come on. Shout out to all my mods. I'm going to get into the chat section real quick. Uh, but I see that there's a $2 donation from Billy Scott. Looks like he wants to get it started. Uh, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Um, make sure you guys... Yeah, uh, we also have Cash App. Uh, that's that's there as well. Make sure you guys check that out. Cash at Money Sign Titan Anderson. We're going to get into this, you guys. The NFL Draft, fellas. The NFL Draft is creeping up fast, fellas. I need to know. I, I, I really need to know what you guys are thinking. I want to know who do you guys want to draft. I want to know how you guys are feeling. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty much falling down between Malik Neighbors and, uh, and Joe Alt, you know, for the Tennessee Titans. We're probably trading back. Um, I want you guys to pretty much load up the chat section with whatever you feel like needs to be done. Um, I'm going to put it put it right here real quick. Uh, give me a second. Um, Titans. We're going to put it as a poll. So make sure you guys continue to take your seats. I'm, I appreciate you guys for being here, man. I'm ready for a fun show. Um, hey, make sure you guys also check out all the new YouTube short videos. Have you guys seen the YouTube short videos we've been putting out? If you guys haven't seen the YouTube short videos, go check them out. Make sure you guys comment on them too, bro. Those things are crazy, man. Me and the team, bro, I'm telling you, man. Shout out to everybody involved in, in, in this new... You, I'm telling you, you guys. We're, we're, me and the mods are, are putting out little by little by little um, and, and making it perfect. It's going to be perfect before the, the new start of the season. Those watch parties, the graphics, everything is going to be perfect. So right now is all trial and error. I promise you guys that. I'm going to make the poll for you guys so that it's a kind of... Who should Titans draft um, at 7? Who do y'all think? Should it be Malik Neighbors? Or should it be... The big boy, Joe Alt. Let's start that poll off right there, you guys. So check out the poll, man. Definitely check out the poll. If you're new to the channel, man, make sure you guys subscribe. We're live every single day, you guys. We put out content every single day. Like non-stop <laughs> Tennessee Titans content, comedy skits, everything, bro. Uh, and again, me and my team um, are just taking it to a whole nother level. So again, it, it's... Uh, it's not just me anymore. <laughs> we got a whole unit of people. Teutonians. Uh, literally, man. Uh, I, you guys will see, man. It, this, this, we're ready to take that next step and and, um, and 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 reach. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to reach and, and try to try to you know take that next step to wherever that is. If you're trying to break every glass ceiling, you know we're trying to we're trying to jump through that shit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get back into this in a second. I appreciate everybody for going, uh, for showing up, man. But again, yes, check those YouTube shorts. Uh, Jason says, yo, T.A., it was a clip of Will 50 yards while on his knees. Dude, <laughs> he does crazy things, bro. I've seen him do, stick. what was it, 60, 65? He did that a couple years ago. It's crazy, bro. Uh, Jason says, uh, we got a chance on Malik Neighbors. And we're going to break it down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the early comments so we're not too far behind on the live uh, t uh, if you're new to the channel, put it in the comment section below and hit that like, bro. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Langus Langusta Azul. Tighten up. JC on says, I think we should get Malik. Uh, neighbors, then trade with the Bengals, 18. Then we get them, uh, R3. And, okay, JC on, I'm, I'm not sure, dude. I think you're, I, maybe I'm just reading it wrong right now. Let me warm up. <laughs> Titanus says, the worst thing about, uh, the worst thing that could happen in the draft is, is if the Cardinals take Marvin Harrison Jr., uh, the Chargers take Joe Alt, which 
I just think they they lost all the receivers. I think they got to go receiver, but we'll see. Uh, then the Giants get neighbors. Then then that leaves us with none of our wanted picks. I know those are the three that we really want, bro. And if and if none of them are there, I'm trade back, trade the fuck back. What's up, Joseph? Hey, uh, Billy, I appreciate that again, bro. Thank you for the donation. Call in, tighten up. OC six one five. What's up, bro? Uh, Jonathan in the building. What's up? What's up, Viper? Viper. Good to see you. Good to see you, Andre Carter over chicken. Uh, I appreciate all, all of you guys, man. I really do. Um, what else do we got? Yes, sir. Make sure again. You guys are definitely. <laughs> you guys won't miss. You guys won't miss out on those on those on those shorts. I promise you, they're hilarious. Hilarious. Oh man. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Yeah, I like it. I like it. No, it's cool. It's it's all good. Yeah, we'll be okay. It'll be it'll be all right. Uh, yeah, we'll post that in a little bit. We'll post that in a little bit. So the poll right here, fellas, we're going to get into it right now, is who should the Titans draft at number seven? And it's pretty clearly. Like, let's keep it up. Let's, keep, let's, let's be honest about it. Who should the Tennessee Titans draft at 11? Or at seven, sorry. Uh, I keep thinking about that trade back. <laughs> um, it's, it's Malik Neighbors or Joe Alt. Um, and I think those are the two realistic possibilities for the Tennessee Titans out of the top three that we all want. Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be gone, man. We just have to, we just have to accept it. Um, but there is a possibility that one of those two, Malik Neighbors or Joe Alt, is there. First of all, if we get either of them, that's a win. If they're both not there, is there somebody that you you guys are okay with taking? You, I really would like to know if you guys are going to be okay taking uh, somebody else. Like, is it, is it Rome, maybe? Uh, Olu, maybe? Uh, Bowers, maybe? Like, I would love to know what you guys think um, about everything like that. Jonathan says, how you doing, TA? Who you want the Titans to draft? I want Titans, if Neighbors and Alt are both there at the same time, and we have either option, it's hard to pass up on Neighbors, man. He's got that attitude that you like. Um, you know, he's a baller. He wants the ball. He's explosive. He's fat. He's real explosive. So, again, I think uh, having Malik Neighbors, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, Traylon Burks, Kyle Phillips, and Nick Westbrook, Aquino, respectfully. Like, the list goes on, and then the Titans could have pretty much unlimited weaponry. You know, Ty J. Spears and Tony Pollard holding holding down the back end. And um, and then, you know, respectfully, you still have Chig and Josh Wiley that need to kind of do their thing at the tight end spot. Very interesting spot, to, to say the least. Uh, let's see. What's up, Legit? How you doing, bro? St uh, Stoner Titan, how you doing, big dog? How you guys doing, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's crazy because it's like this is what we've all been waiting for, man. We've all been waiting for this. It's so it's great, man. I this is what I love about football, man. And every day the draft is getting that much closer, that much closer, that much closer. I want to know who you guys want to draft. This draft is coming up. Dude, we've only been live for less than 10 minutes. That's crazy. Who do you guys want to draft? Who's your team? Put it in the comment section below. I'll put my team down there. I'm also gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the the channel membership link for you guys so that you guys don't have any issues finding that. Uh, some people seem like they're looking for it. I'm not really sure, so I'll make sure I go get that for you guys real quick while you guys answer that. It's crazy, man. I'm just so excited that the draft is finally here. Like everybody's just tired of waiting. Everybody wants to see what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like let's go see what's gonna happen. Make sure you guys subscribe, bro. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. All right, here we go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We're just we're just looking for it real quick. Members. All right. We got it, fellas. We got it. Let me put it over here. What's up, Titan Sal? Daniel Berry Sports. What's good, fellas? All right, here we go, fellas. Here we go. There's the channel member link. The channel membership link is pinned right there. Uh, every time you see that link right there, make sure you guys hit that and join and have some fucking fun. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, everything's good. J. George says, any inside linebacker or edge uh, with a top 10 pick uh, if Alt and Neighbors are gone? Look, if all ten neighbors are gone, Marvin Harrison Jr. is gone, I want to trade back. Like I said, there's people who are going to want to trade up. Vikings, Raid Raiders possibly. Like, there's teams that possibly are going to want to move up, bro. Like, we got to go and capitalize on that. We literally, we have to capitalize on that. You know what I mean? We have to capitalize on that. We have to. Uh, Andre says, just notice that the t uh, Titans T and the Oilers pump are the T and the A you were born for this. <laughs> oh my God, that is crazy. 
You know, I've thought about that before, actually. Um, it's just... <laughs> that's funny, bro. I'm just gonna be honest. That's just funny to me. Uh, uh, Hoosier Man says, Which NFL team has the most annoying fan base? That's easy. The Jaguars. Their fans are stupid idiots. Jonathan Dallas Turner. Yeah, Dallas Turner's nice. Jonathan, it, it is. But I just think that if you trade back... You get that extra pick knowing you don't have the third rounder, bro. Come on, bro. How do you pass on that? Do you really pass on that? Like, for real? Come on, bro. We got to be we gotta be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to set this back a little bit. That would be kind of cool. There we go. Let's kind of keep it back a little bit. How we all feeling, though? How are you guys doing, man? Salud. Bow. Man, that shit's fire. Ashton says, T, I have a question. Do you think Mike Vrabel is overrated as a head coach? I just feel like he he just never adjusted. He never wanted to make adjustments and, and, and change anything. Over Chicken says, if you guys don't think the Jags fans are annoying, just look at XT Gamer. That'll change your opinion. <laughs> What's up, Christian? How you doing, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hit that like button, fellas. Uh, Titan Sal says, yeah, if Alt, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Neighbors are all gone, trade back and get Amarius Mims or J.C. Latham. And again, that's what I keep explaining to people. It's not like there's nobody there that we can't get, bro. There's people that we can get that make a lot of sense. I'm dead ass serious. Trade back. There's other pass rushers that you can get. Um, you know, and, and getting that extra pick allows you to be more, more, um, more versatile with the draft picks when using them. Um, you could you having that one extra pick. Oh man, that could be that could be a game changer. It really could be, it really could be a game changer. Uh, what's up, Void? How you doing, bro? Uh, Jonathan says, "Yeah, I'm with you on trading back." I was just listening, uh, listing him as a potential target if Alt and Neighbors are gone. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Hoosierman says, "Can't spell Titans without the TA." That's a fact. You can try; it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, man. Titan Sal says, we need a third rounder, so I'm all for trading back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it just has to make sense. It has to make sense. Don't get it twisted. It has to make sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, then fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wants to offer us, like, nothing or, or give us enough in return, then it's like, that's not that's not working, bro. That's not working. I want to make sure that we get enough in return and um, and, and we, we, we make it happen, bro. I, I believe Rand's... <laughs> look at the look at the, the the draft last year, guys. That shit was crazy, bro. Like, what are we doing, man? Oh uh, man. Retired Volte says, "Are you the one that calls me?" I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. That's weird. Uh, Ashton says, "Chig needs to have a breakout year and stop dropping passes, dude." Everybody's been waiting for it. This is, um. This is the year that you'll be able to see if Chig is for real or if it, it or if he's just he is what he is. He has to show an improvement this year, or this will be the last year you see him. Probably, like I'm pretty damn sure on that. Those drops aren't going to even keep him in the game as a starter if he continues that shit. He'll be benched. You have to continue to like cat catching the ball is more important than even what you do after the ball because if you don't catch the ball, you're not even going to be able to do anything with the ball after. So it's like it's crazy. What's up, Rocky? Uh, he said, "Do you like the Packers?" No, nah, I don't. I don't care, bro. I don't care about the Packers. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. I don't really give a damn about the Packers, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't care, bro. He said, "What do you think about Bowers?" Bowers is a beast, man. I just don't. I don't think it's something that the Titans are going to be interested in, knowing that we don't have the third round pick, knowing that Chig is supposed to be that guy, and Josh Wiley, we drafted with a fourth round pick to try to. I don't know, compete or possibly be that guy. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see. I think, uh, yeah, I think right now um, those are the three I'm sticking with. What do you guys think? If you're the Titans at number seven, I want to know what you guys want to do. What do you guys want to do at number seven if you're the Tennessee Titans? If you like another team, let me know what you guys want to do. What's up, AFIO? How you doing, bro? Cottonmouth3, the hater. Biggest hater. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all crack me up, bro. Uh, Viper says, do you think we should go after Justin Simmons? I think so. Why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Let's make it happen, bro. Let's make it happen, bro. Oh, excuse me. 
Come on, bro. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody tell you the Titans are going to beat nobody. That's stupid. They got us be what being second worst or second worst odds and finishing winless. What the what is that? Who who said that? What an idiot. Titans fan says TA the closer we get to the draft, it's more sounding like Titans drafting neighbors and if neighbors is not there, they will draft Joe Alt. Again, I think that's what the plan is all along. We have to be able to score points, bro. We have to be able to score points. We haven't scored 30 in forever. There's games that we would have won if we would have just scored more points. We have to go and score more points, bro. So if Neighbors is there, you just think about this, bro. You got Malik Neighbors as the guy that he's going to grow with, and that's going to be, you know, that's going to be his guy. That's going to be his guy. But you're going to have Calvin Ridley as that veteran guy, lead, you know, helping, you know, being there for you as well. And then you got D-Hop as what? And then Traylon Burks respectfully? That's crazy, bro. How are you going to stop that? This offense is going to be crazy. We haven't even touched the draft. Pause. Like, seriously. How are you going to answer that? All the haters that love to come in here and talk that ish. Come on, bro. How are you stopping this Titans offense? How? We haven't done the draft yet, so obviously the offensive line is going to get better. So I don't want to hear that, oh, your offensive line is weak bullshit. Like, seriously. There's too many weapons. We haven't even drafted yet. How are you going to stop it? I can't wait, bro. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait to see this Titans team take the field and start whooping asses and taking names and then laughing at people in, uh, you, you know, while, while just walking by these. We're going to be dog walking these kids. Like, it's going to be easy. These guys are going to be like, bro, get out of the way. It's gonna be like, and all these analysts all the time are sitting here all always dissing our Titans, bro. And Oilers, right? <laughs> I mean, let's just talk about it for. Oh man, you Texans, you guys need to stop crying about our jerseys, man. Because this year's different. This year's a little bit different. You're not playing against a team that hasn't spent a hundred million. You're not playing against a team that didn't know who their quarterback was or didn't. Ha we didn't even have our coaches. This team is a different Titans team. A titanic turnaround has happened in the AFC South. So you Texans better pay attention because we right there with you. You can go ahead and overlook us. That's fine. Everybody always does. Nobody knows this Tennessee Titans team. So all those guys going like this, saying bad things about my team, you don't, and especially bad things about last year, who gives a shit about last year? That's what I keep telling everybody. People will be like, oh, yo, T.A., your team sucked last year. What do you mean? You're not going to be good. Why, do you, why are you so confident? Your team can't. You, they couldn't do this. They can't block. They had no. What the hell? Did, some, like, did somebody just think that the, like, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl and then nothing's happened in between? Or like, what? <laughs> This is crazy. Some people literally have no idea what, was, what has happened. Half the Texans fan base has no idea the Titans have. Maybe, actually, I'm going to be honest. 85, 90% of the Texans fan base has no idea the Titans have Chidobia Wuzie. They just don't know that he's on the team. And and I, I maybe it's just lack of football knowledge. I'm gonna blame it on that. But I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna be trash talking a team, trash talking the YouTuber representing that team, you probably should know who's on that guy's team if you're gonna disrespect him. It ain't making no sense. So again, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. What's up, Tony? What's up, fellas? You gotta go, man. You gotta get uh, alt or neighbors, bro. You gotta get one of them, bro. You have to. Apio says, Hopkins has a lot of belief in Levis, though, and is built... What? And it'll build Will Levis's confidence. Ridley only boost it. Keep them together as long as possible. Dude, it's gonna be a fucking amazing season. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. Launched rocket from Will Levis deep off the, your TV screen, and you have no idea where the hell it's at. And then, boop, it just drops in from fucking Mars and touchdown Tennessee Titans. You can't cover us. You can't cover us. You, it's not going to work. And you have to be able to watch our backs. Both of them, both Tony Pollard and Ty J Spears, are both dual threat running backs. Both good with the ball from anywhere. So you're going to have to pick your poison. And again, our offense is already looking this lethal and we haven't touched the draft yet. Pause. Come on, bro. What are we doing here? I love this shit, bro. Oh, man. Ashton says, Titan Anderson, in my opinion, the Titans are going to be better than people think. Oh, they will be. Oh, they will be. 
Oh, they will be. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. We're live every single day, baby. Uploading YouTube shorts, comedy, fun, real stats, everything you could possibly want. Everything fun over here, man. I promise you that much. Let's go, man. We all talking NFL draft. Who do you guys want your teams to draft? Who do you think my team's going to draft? I'll tell you who I think your team's going to draft. But I'll tell you one thing. If the Titans are sitting there and there's no Marvin Harrison Jr., no Malik Neighbors, no Joe Alt, I'm trading back. I'm be like, Vikings, yo, come on, talk to me. Raiders, yo, talk to me. Somebody back there, talk to me. Let's make something happen, Captain. And I, I really feel like Rand's going to make something happen. Rand knows that Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik, Malik Neighbors are the two difference makers this team could use bad. Not that we don't, not that we don't, look at, everybody knows the Titans already have really good, like I said, our offense looks great. Good luck stopping it as it is right now. But I mean, if we add another guy like that, it's going to be endless weapons. Can you imagine that shotgun four receiver set with the two running backs? Think about this. Let me, hear me out. You got Will Levis in the shotgun right to his right. T uh, Tony Pollard to his left, Ty J Spears to the, in in the uh, to in, in the the inside receiver spots in the slots, uh, well four wide. So the double slot, both inside, whatever, however you want to consider it, you could have whatever. It doesn't even matter how you how, where you put him. It's just unstoppable. You would have Traylon Burks. Of course, you want him inside. Hell, let's just put Malik Neighbors inside, and then you can have Calvin Ridley on the outside, D Hop on the outside over there. How do you stop that? You can't stop that. It's impossible. It's impossible. You can even pencil in Kyle Phillips if you want to respectfully, and we all know in the spread he is a beast, and we all saw that experience. Him and Will Levis was building that shit towards the end of the season. Don't think I didn't see that. A lot of us did. A lot of us real real Teutonians know what I'm talking about. So again, if you give us that type of firepower, think about that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to stop the Titans? Hey, pause for the cause, man. We've got 225 people watching. Hit those three dots right here. Hit that thumbs up for us, you guys. Subscribe. Join us for all future notification alerts. Y'all, we're live every single day, bro. Let's go. Come on, fellas. Let's go, man. Appreciate this shit, man. I appreciate everybody for being here. I really do. I really do, man. You guys are killing it in the chat section, man. You guys are killing it, bro. Uh, Over Chicken says, We haven't scored 29 or more points in 36 games. Let me read that one more again. Cat Williams voice. We haven't... No, <laughs> uh, we haven't scored 29 or more points in 36 games, which is two seasons. Whoop! And two games on top of that. That's crazy, bro. We haven't seen a 30, not 50, 50 is a 50 burger. So we haven't seen a, what, what's, we got to think of something for 30. Uh, 30 tacos sounds stupid. That sounds weak. A 30, I don't know. We'll figure it out, bro. But we haven't, we haven't scored 30 in over two years worth of uh, scheduled games, bro. That's crazy. That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable, bro. Like, come on, talk to me, fellas. Are you with me? This is crazy. Now you got to go get some firepower. Plus, people get injured, right? Who gets, who's gets? who been getting more injured than the Tennessee Titans last two, three years? Don't worry. I'll wait. Nobody is the fucking answer. So guess what? What if somebody did go down, knock on wood, they don't? What if somebody gets hurt? Then you'll automatically have backup right there. Right there. Will Levis will always have weapons. Always Ready to go. Stamina. There goes that green bar, baby. Ready to go. Let's go. I'm telling you, we will be solid. Guys will be in there. If somebody's tired, oh, hey, hey, yo, come on in, bro. Come on in. I'm tired as fuck. No, no worries, bro. You got Malik neighbors coming in. You got all these guys coming in. Like, that's crazy. You can't stop that. And that's exactly, that's exactly what Rank Carthon and everybody is thinking. That's why I've been preaching this since the beginning of fucking times. It's been Marvin Harrison Jr. always my number one that's never changed. And it's been Joe Alt and Malik Neighbors flip-flopping like beach sandals. Like, it's, it's just, it's, that's just what it's been. But it's been only those three and trade back or, and or trade back. That's it. That's all I've wanted. Because I know we don't have that third round pick. I ain't fucking stupid. I can see everything. Come on, bro. I see everything. I'm not dumb. We're not dumb. We know we don't have that third. 
But it doesn't mean we can't go back and get it. It don't mean we can't go back and get it. And, and, and even if it's not going back and getting that third round pick, don't mean we can't go back and get another first round pick, another second round pick, whatever the case may be. And again, we we don't we cannot we can't look at think about it like this. Rand Carthon has had one draft with us and he dominated it. We he's given us no reason for us not to have faith in him to dominate it again. All right? So let's just trust what he's going to do. Believe in Rand's master plan. Because I think it's going to... I just feel Titans are up to something. I feel like we're up to something. I don't know what it is, Teutonians. But I'm feeling... I'm feeling something special is going to happen. I'm, ex I'm excited about it, bro. Ah. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's go. Where are we at? Uh... Jonathan says, them, them new Texans jerseys are trash. What do y'all think about those new Texans jerseys? Keep it a band. What do you guys think about those new Texans jerseys? Tell me the truth. Texans, write Texans jerseys or Texans in caps and let it me know. Rate it in the chat section below, man. I'm going to just rate it below. One through ten, uh, ten being the best, or one being the best, ten being the worst. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say ten. They're ugly. It looks like they, they tried stealing the Falcons jerseys at nighttime, trying to stole the, steal their ugly ass blueprint when they're ugly anyway. And they, they, they took the backup ones that they, the Falcons didn't choose. And you know what I mean? That's what it looks like to me. It's crazy. So I, I'm curious to think what you guys, what you guys got to say. Um, yeah, the mods are on fire, man. The mods always kick ass. He says, do you know this Music City Miracle? Come on, bro. What the fuck? What kind, of, what kind of tomato can question is that? Are you serious, bro? What the fuck? That's crazy, bro. Oh, man. Uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Jordan says, all these moves made, and we still sitting nice in the draft. Tighten up, TA. I see you, bro. Get that like button flowing, fellas. Get that like button flowing. Tighten up. You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. But it's funny, though, right, how all these teams want to continue to talk trash about the Tennessee Titans, and they don't even know half the guys that we've brought in. I can guarantee you, you ask anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm just here, Here's your comeback for anybody that wants to diss on the Titans offseason. Be like, tell me why it's a bad offseason. Tell me why the players that they picked up are bad. Explain to me individually all the players that they got and break it down to me why it's bad and why it doesn't fit the Titans' needs and and what they're building and, and how it fits what's going on with the Tennessee Titans. And I promise you, they're going to look at you like they don't know what language you're speaking. And that language is NFL football, baby, because all those fake ass haters don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't know what is going on. They have no idea what's going on. We speak the truth over here. I'm telling you, people may not like it, but we're going to speak the truth, the two tone truth. And that's all I can do over here. I love it, bro. I just love it, man. The real ones stand up, man. Let's hear it. I love it, man. I love it. But the Texans, man, y'all, y'all need to figure it out seriously, because you guys are like, you guys are like weird, bro. Y'all are acting a little bit like creepers, man. Seriously, it's getting a little bit creepy out there, bro. Like y'all need to quit it. Be thankful for those shitty ass jerseys that you guys got, and then just move on. Cause love your blues are staying with the two tone blue, baby. That's just what it is. Oh, man. Uh, Link says, what if Levis struggles in training camp? I don't know. I just feel that. Who cares about training camp? Who cares? That's what, that, that's a good time to struggle. Get all, like, th throw up interceptions if you have to. Who cares? Who cares? Build that chemistry. You don't have any, any chemistry with Ridley. Go get it down. Go make interceptions. Go make crazy-ass throws. Because guess what? You're going to be able to learn together. You're going to get to see, okay, well, I know he can make this reach. He can do this back shoulder catch. I got I got trust in when I throw a deep ball, I know how far he can chase that shit down. Things like this matter, baby. So you can try these things. So you can perfect it. And then when you get towards the game and you're facing the Jacksonville jungle kitties, you chop down that tree and you curb stomp those cats. You face the Walmart toilet seat, go, toilet seat logo Colts. You call the plumber and then you stick that fucking plunger straight up his candy ass. And then you face the Texans the fucking Texans, and you just tell them one thing. Actually, two things. One, their barbecue sucks. And two, man, these colors are pretty as fuck, baby. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I love it, man. I love it. 
30 Rito like a dirty burrito. Oh my. Afio. Afio, you son of a bitch. He said 30 Rito like a dirty burrito. Bro. I promise to God, I don't care what God you believe in, because this 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 applies for every single one of your gods. Nobody, no, no, that you'll never find a comment like that anywhere except on the T A show. We said I I told y'all I needed something. We know fifty. I was gonna say thirty burger, but you can't disrespect the fifty burger. The the fifty point is a fifty burger. You know what I'm saying? He said thirty thirty Rito. Like a dirty burrito. Like, that is the most. Uh, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> what the f Bro, how do you even think of that? Like, are you serious? How, like, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm seriously like, how do <laughs> Hey, man, that's good shit, bro. Creative. It's creative. Because that's, I mean, that's out there. I don't even know how you could think about that. Like, 30 Rito? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I love it. Landon, oh, man, okay, you're out, of, you're, you're out of your mind on this one. Texans for life, what's up, big dog? Oh, my God, what a show so far. <laughs> hey, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys follow us for all Tennessee Titans and NFL live stream news, hangouts, watch parties, everything you could possibly want, Tennessee Titans and NFL related. Uh, Ryan McCorvey says, laugh at my ass off, Titans are finishing last. So, man, oh, I didn't even know people still say laughing my ass off. That's embarrassing, bro. Wow. All right. Sorry, man. I apologize to you. You're probably in, like, fucking... I mean, let me let me see. Laughing my ass off. That sounds like... Hmm. Sixth grade, seventh grade, probably some lack of vocab right there. You know, that's pretty weak, bro. That's pretty weak. Uh, we good over here, Texans fan for life. We're pretty good over here, bro. We're just enjoying it, man. We're waiting for the free, uh, the NFL draft. Like, we really want to see who we're going to get. We, we, we just want to know. Like, all these Titans fans, and not just Titans fans, NFL fans out there watching, don't you guys want to know? Don't y'all want to know who your team's going to get? Let me know, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, Titan South says Skaronsky and Joe Alt will be, will own Will Anderson and D Daniel Hunter. Hey, bro. Again, Joe Alt is somebody who I wouldn't be mad about. I would be jumping for joy if we draft Joe Alt. Knowing that him and Skaronsky are going to be together, that'd be awesome. Oh, man. I love it, man. I love it. Jay says, I wouldn't say he dominated last year's draft, but I believe in him. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let's talk about that. First round pick, Peter Skaronsky. He was probably our only good blocker, literally. Um... Will Levis, I guess you're, you must be a Vol fan. That's the only thing I can think of if you don't like him. Ty J Spears with a third round pick. He arguably, he arguably looks like the best running back, like out of all those running backs drafted. It's, it's crazy how explosive he is. And then Josh Wiley, when he's healthy, go watch him for that size six, seven. He moves like he's six foot two. It's crazy. It really is. So again, that, that's, that's crazy how you said that you don't think that's weird to me. He says, oh, snap, I haven't seen them. Yeah, they're ugly. All right, and here's the here's the votes for everybody. Everybody voting on those ugly-ass um, ugly jerseys, man. They're so ugly, like, it's ridiculous. Where are they at? Okay, we got a, we got a few votes up here. He said 10, 6.7, 4, 10, 7, 8.6, 10. <laughs> What's up, Crystal? What's up, Joseph? Uh, as a Titans fan, battle red uniforms are fire. Dude, Every a lot of people have been wanting to see those, like, for real. 10. Let them slide. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Oilers are the GOAT Titans jerseys, and they're top three in the league. O the Oilers uniform might be the best one. I, I think our baby blues are the best, to be honest, but... Christian says, when does the new schedule come in? I don't know, man. I want to find out when we're going to play the, the Chargers so we can... You get them tickets, bro. He says, is that a cursed jersey? Is it a cursed jersey? Is it? <laughs> Nick. 
Nope. Nope. No, it's not a cursor. It's a custom Titan Anderson jersey, big dog. Yes, sir. Shit's fire, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Titan Punk says T. A. Only wears custom jerseys with his name on it. Yeah, I'm. All, I'm. Uh, I think uh, Derrick Henry might be might be the last guy, might be the last Titans jersey that I ever wear, player wise, because it just sucks that you know you can't really wear it like. And you never know, like you never know if a player is gonna stay or go. And then you have a jersey that's. I have so many jer. I have so many Titans jerseys. It's like a. It's like a collection, man. It's like, you know, how people collect cards and shit like that. It's like I collect Titans memorabilia or like, clothes and for jerseys and hats. It's crazy, bro. Void says Sneed versus Diggs gonna be crazy. Diggs is gonna get locked up. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Maverick, you're a loser, bro. Jesus, you're weird. I love it, man. It's been great. It's been great. This offseason has been dominated by the Tennessee Titans. Everybody knows it. Nobody just wants to give the Titans any credit. But it's a fact. It's definitely a fact. Jay George says, I think Radons has some potential, maybe at guard. I don't know, man. I've always tried to hold out hope for Radons. It didn't end very well, bro. It didn't end very well so far. Like, I've always tried to give him more and more credit. Uh, like every time he does, you know, anything good, because there's signs, you know, he does, he does well every once in a while, but overall, it's just, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. You see times where he looks lost, he gets beat, he looks slow, he doesn't look as strong, and then sometimes you see him, he looks great. So it's like it's just fucking hard to determine with with certain guys. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Bill Callahan can kind of look at guys and get a good, you know, a good um, perspective on, uh, on, you know, maybe maybe he can help fix whoever's left you know what i mean like if anybody could fix anybody any you know any of the guys on our team that need fixing he on the offensive line specifically yeah he could do that all right he's a spears the best that's a reach and a half it's it's a fact bro it's a fact you'll see this year you'll see this year you'll see this year I know. I really hope the Titans get that morning game. I never got a morning game before, bro. Actually, I saw the the Chargers versus Titans playoff game in San Diego was a morning game. I think it was. I can't, I'm pretty sure it was. I can't remember the time it was. It wasn't a night game. I I can promise you that much. Um, I remember it was muggy out, man. I remember going to that game at Qualcomm, and it was so muggy out. It was not an. It was an ugly ass day. But man, I wish we would have won. Fuck. Fucking sorry ass Charger fans. Yeah, I can't wait. I honestly can't wait to see what we're gonna do. I'm I'm really I'm really excited. Hell yeah. T A, do you go to Padre games? Nah, I don't. I I went to uh, I went to a game last year though. I went to go to see uh the Braves play. I saw uh, cause I'm I'm a I'm an Acuna fan. That's my guy, man. Ever since they drafted him, that's been my favorite player. Uh, and he um, he uh, so I, I went out. My my brother in law took me out, and he had these tickets that were like, ah, uh, dude, see, I don't even know what field is that. Like, uh, is that right field, left field? I don't, I don't fucking know which field it is. Like, if you're looking from, if you're in the batter and you're looking outward towards the field, the center and that. But I'm, I'm in the batter. What is that one over here? What, is that right field? Whatever. I don't know what field that is. Uh, I'm not a baseball person, but um, yeah, we we were maybe we had maybe four seats in front of us. And you could literally see the stitching on his jersey. You could see the, the 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 shoelaces on his shoes, man. And we got to see him launch a ball from the from the uh, from the end of the wall area all the way to uh, home plate. And, and to see somebody throw a fucking baseball that far and that hard from that close, from the who went on and you know MVP and shit like that's crazy. I still like I don't like like I don't I'm not a baseball guy clearly, but. I, I just seen him do some, sp and even how he steals bases and stuff. It's like, I was like, look, I'm like, can he not? Like, is there anything that that guy cannot do? <laughs> that dude's fucking crazy. So, so yeah, um, yeah, it was a, um, that was a really fun, it was for my birthday. It was really fun. So, damn, it was like a, almost a year ago, bro. That's crazy because, because um, 
I'm, my birthday, my birthday's on the 23rd, fellas. My birthday's on the 23rd. We'll do a little, we'll do a little fun stream for it or something. Hang out and stuff like that. Get some of the mods on, on camera and stuff like that and have some fun. I think that'd be fun. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to do that, though. But yeah, it was crazy how close, man, and, and seeing that dude do it. It's like, yeah, there's a reason why that guy gets paid that much. He's... He just, he just like, I mean, they, I mean, I, I, I mean, we got to see Juan Soto for the Padres. I can't remember if Tatis was there or he was hurt. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, man, you, 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 basically what I'm trying to say is uh, Acuna looked like he was just better than everybody on the field. Like he looked like he was better at everything than everybody. <laughs> it looked like they're, it looked like, you know, when you're watching those little kids play baseball at the, like, like, you know, at the rec or whatever, like my little brother and my older brother played baseball. I didn't. Um, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, sometimes they have that one kid who's like just old enough to make it into the league. You know what I mean? And he just beats everybody. That's what he reminds me of in baseball. I was like, this guy's too good to be in baseball. Like there should be another league for this guy. It's kind of crazy. That's crazy. I love it, man. I appreciate you guys so much, man. I really do. I really do. We're going to go for an hour today. We got 20 more minutes to go, man. Get those thumbs up, man. Get those thumbs up. Let's get it, you guys. Go for that 50 mark. If we hit 50 likes, we'll go for an hour and a half. But we need 16. 16 likes to go, man. Don't forget there's Cash App, Money Sign, Titan Anderson, and and uh, and there's Super Chat as well if you want your, your, your comments read for sure. So it's hard to see sometimes when there's so many comments. Yeah, Radons does get a lot of flags. That's true, too. He's... He's whatever. That's crazy. I know, I can't believe they, like, those uniforms are terrible. The Texans uniforms, it's ugly. Joseph says, if we go left tackle first round, would you want to see, see the Titans go wide receiver or edge defensive tackle in the second round? Uh, I asked this question earlier, but I had to leave for a bit, so I don't know if you answered. That's interesting. Um, because we don't pick in the third round. So, I think... To be honest, edge and defensive tackle might end up jumping it depending on what receivers available in the second round and what what edge defensive tackle is available. That's what it, it just kind of depends on who's still there. I think that could play a big part in what the Tennessee Titans do overall. Um, but yeah, man, we uh, Brian Callahan made it clear that we need a new starting uh, outside guy other than Harold Landry. Because uh, Arden Key's not it. What's up, CM? I see you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. Jonathan says, T.A., you got to root for alt because you can't spell alt without putting that T-A in. <laughs> hey, I already said, though. I've always said there's those three guys, bro. It's not like I don't want him, bro. Don't, don't think I don't want him, bro. Don't do that. It's not that I don't want him. It's just I, I want more firepower, bro. Like, and... And again, Joe Alt, if we do get him, that's dope. Hell yeah, six foot nine, six foot ten, big ass left tackle. I'm I'm for that. Uh, or trade back. But those are the only four. I don't want nobody else other than those three at seven. Make that happen. Come on, Carthon. Happy birthday, punk. Titan Punk 99. Happy birthday, buddy. He said, Guess we're both April babies. My birthday was yesterday. That's what's up. Hey chat, let's get a happy birthday, punk. Write that. Happy birthday, punk. Uh, CM says in June I'm gonna go to the Braves Red Sox. I'm a lifelong Braves fan. That's what's up, bro. Hell yeah. Over Chicken says hate me all you want, but baseball players are one of the strongest athletes ever. They either throw 100 miles per hour balls, hit those balls, and throw balls over 50 yards wherever they are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just it's too slow for me. It's just too slow. I I, I have to have that adrenaline, that fast pace. Like I gotta have it, bro. I gotta have it. <laughs> that's funny though fucking baseball jesus freaking baseball titan south says if worthy falls to 38 that would be sick or brendan rice dude if worthy goes to 38 bro can you imagine what the titans would do can you imagine the tennessee titans with that fucking f that that beast that well, he could be punt returner not kick over i mean nobody's gonna be able to return kicks anymore anyway but punt returner uh, and, and, you know, situational receiver, gadget play receiver. Like, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, punk. Thank you, buddy. 
Titanic says baseball on TV equals bad, but going to a game in real life is so much fun. Yeah, it was dope. When we went there, bro, yeah, there was a lot that happened. They got a, uh, I got to see that that game winner. Uh, it, who was it? It was uh, Albies. Uh, yeah, that dude's a beast too, man. He hit a home run. It was like, it was, what was it? Like seventh or eighth inning or something like that. And then that's when we left. We left a little bit early and then went went uh, through downtown kind of kind of bar hopping and stuff like that that shit was dope as fuck uh but yeah that shit was that was a good that was a good night that was a good night a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah everyone hit that like button you guys how we all feeling man let's get it a we've got 15 minutes to try to get to 50 likes if we get there we'll add 30 more minutes and continue and we're going to continue until the likes stop man so get them up get them up likes are free bro they don't even take any money to put that thumbs up baby Ah, oh, man, it's crazy. Um, yeah, man, I'm, but I'm excited. Is anybody going to any games this year? I will be going to the Titans versus Chargers game. I just can't wait, bro. I can't wait to see Will Levis in person, bro, throwing those deep balls. Oh, my God, bro. Will Levis shitting on the Chargers in person. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'll be vlogging the whole thing. Like, I'll make it like an hour-long video. Literally, it's going to be dope, bro. I promise you guys. I just can't wait, man. I can't wait to see the Tennessee Titans play the Los Angeles Cheer Girls. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. Let's go and beat their ass. Let's go show them who's the best big-arm quarterback in football. I love it, man. He said, which city's better, San Diego or San Francisco? You know, San Francisco's... I heard, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of bad things about it. Um, you know, I'm hearing that the homeless issue is so bad. Like, arguably the worst anywhere in the in the country uh, and there's some bad areas trust me la's bad san diego has some bad homeless issues too i'm gonna be the first person to admit it but i mean yeah man i don't know i i've been to san francisco one time for, uh i'm not gonna say why but <laughs> but i had to go to san francisco one time um and um yeah i i didn't really care for it the weather was whatever um Definitely didn't have that full house weather. You know what I'm saying? On the little hill, I don't think that shit exists. Uh, food was mid. Bums were every like literally everywhere. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really wasn't really that great in my opinion. San Diego is perfect. If anybody ever comes to San Diego and says they didn't like it, you're a liar. You're a liar. You fell on your head. You and, and you don't remember any of your 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 vacation here. I promise you, if you had a bad time in San Diego, it's because you were hanging out with some bad fucking people. <laughs> bad and boring. We call those BBs. You know what I mean? BBs. Bad and boring. Oh my god. Uh, Titan Punk says I'm from upstate New York, and yes, I am a diehard Titans fan, but I also am a Yankees fan. That's what. Hey, that's what's cool about it, right? Isn't that what's cool about what? what uh, you know, the Tennessee Titans, that's one thing, like, we're all Titans fans for the most part, right? All my subscribers, 99% of them are Titans fans, probably less, uh, but yeah, uh, and it's funny because, like, I'm a Warriors fan, and a lot of the Titans fans are Grizzly fans, and the Grizzlies and Warriors don't really like each other, so it is funny, though, it is funny sometimes when basketball is going on, some of them, they'll, they'll give me shit, but it's just fun back and forth. At the end of the day, um, everybody knows where I stand, man. Football's the most important football and UFC are priority always and and basketball is my second my third favorite sport it used to be uh, football basketball now it's football UFC basketball UFC is fucking awesome I sh I'm gonna be doing some play-by-play -play for UFC soon I'm telling you I love UFC sure we might we might get some wrestling in there too man did y'all see Wrestlemania oh my god bro Wrestlemania was the shit that was the best Wrestlemania I ever seen are you kidding me holy shit that last match, the Cody Rhodes thing was dope as fuck. You got a, uh, what else was it? You had the, uh, those girls, the Bailey one, that was fire, bro. That was real good. That, uh, EO girl, fucking A, dude, I don't know how you flip like that. Logan Paul, people be dissing on Logan Paul, man. I'm about to switch from Blue Monster to Blue Prime. I'm, I'm, I'm a Logan, I'm sorry, Logan Paul, man. I, I don't care. I, I like Logan Paul. He's dope. I'm sorry, man. I fuck with Logan Paul. That, that dude's dope as fuck. Yeah, man, wrestling's back, bro. Wrestling's cool again, man. I grew up watching wrestling, man. I grew up watching that shit as a little kid. You know what I mean? I grew up watching that. I remember being 8, 9, and 10, 11 years old in the Attitude Era, bro. Little ass kid going crazy, thinking that shit was real. Thinking that, man, thinking that shit was real. <laughs> 
me and my brothers fighting and shit. People around the apartments and everywhere else fighting and arguing and shit. Like, hell no, Austin's not going to beat The Rock. Yeah, right. And, I, and then here I come. Triple H is going to beat both of them. They both fucking suck. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's a good time. Yeah, WrestleMania was good. Though. I recommend it for sure. It was a real good one. Yes, sir. What do you guys think? Who do you guys got? Jake Paul or... or uh... <laughs> I hope... Oh, man. Please, Mike Tyson, don't die. Jake Paul or Mike Tyson. Put it in caps. Yeah, see? That's cool, man. Y'all fuck with wrestling. That's what's up, man. I grew up watching wrestling. It is what it is. Yeah, what do you, who do you guys want your teams to draft? I got the Tennessee Titans drafting Malik Neighbors with the seventh pick overall in the NFL draft. I feel like somebody, one, maybe even two teams will possibly trade up and take these quarterbacks and push Malik Neighbors down towards us. Uh, there's no possible way in my, my, my mind of thinking that uh, Joe, oh, not Joel, but uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to slide down to the Tennessee Titans. I just don't think it's possible. Um, is Could it happen? Of course, of course. Will it happen? Mm. I want Malik Neighbors bad. That ability to run by people even when they're playing separation is 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 special. Is special. He has that ability. Calvin Ridley has that ability. D Hop doesn't really have that ability, but he's crafty. You remember those go routes that he did? He runs up really quick. He gives a little stop move and then, oh, the guy freezes like a fucking Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Hermione versus Neville freezes his ass like, oh, like he's fucking stuck like Harry Potter. You feel me? And then boom, D-Hop takes off. He's crafty. You know, he's got that experience. He knows what's going on. Uh, but overall, it's like, I think we'll have two. I mean, don't even, what about Traylon Burks? We saw him go for 70 yards against the Saints in week one. We saw him towards the end of the season getting some really good, valuable reps, building that chemistry, learning his role as a non-starter. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So you guys let me know, bro. Let me know. Hey, we're 12 likes away. You guys got 10 minutes to go. If we get 12 more likes in 10 minutes, we'll go for another 30 minutes, man. Let's get it popping. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. Uh, Titanus says, I want neighbors, but I think we get all... I, I think that, that that could be very well be a, a, a possibility, a real possibility. Justin. AFIO says, I, I take uh, neighbors or all, whoever is there. They both won't be there. You think they both won't be there? That's interesting. That's interesting. We got 40 likes, you guys. 10 more. Justin said, Harrison Jr., Titanus says if D-Hop had speed, he could seriously be the GOAT receiver. But uh, not every not every receiver was fast. Look at Jerry Rice. A lot of people still consider him the GOAT. He wasn't fast. He wasn't. He was crafty. That's how he got open. The greatest route running receiver arguably ever. He had, to me, the softest hands. Like, he, like you don't, like, he, you may not have seen, like, the behind the head catches all, all the time or anything like that. But when the ball touched Jerry Rice's hands, it didn't move. It didn't move. It just fell in his hands. There's no bobble. There's nothing. It just falls in his hands, and he scores touchdowns. That's what Jerry Rice did. Uh, it's crazy, bro. And, and it, again, it, it's just uh, him being better than you, smarter than you. He could fucking t – it's crazy. He's told stories about knowing what defensive backs were playing, what they were doing. Like, it's crazy. His IQ, he was read, He was a teacher playing the sport out there. That's how good he is and what. Like, it, it's, that's why they call him the GOAT. It was, it was, it's not just speed. If it was just speed, hell, John Ross right now would be all pro every single year. How many times has John Ross been to the Pro Bowl, been all pro, led the league in receiving yards, had the, had anything, had done anything? Don't worry. I'll wait. That's my point my point he, he it's not is it, it's about getting open is more is more important than just being fast being able to catch is more important than being fast now if you're able to do those and be fast at the same time then there you go but again that's what makes the nfl special everybody has their own attributes everybody has their own specialties everybody has their own abilities everybody has their own bread and butters everybody is different but you know you know it when you look at the greats, like look at Randy Moss, that thin ass frame, but faster than, I mean, literally like a cheetah, literally lengthy, lengthy, long pause and fast. 
That type of receiver is crazy. He had great hands too, which was unbelievable. Um, but a different type of receiver. Like he's not really stiff arming many people or running through people like Megatron. Uh, but Megatron, respectfully for his size, running four three was crazy. Um, but Megatron wasn't as fast as as Randy Moss, even though Megatron. I mean, pound for pound, that I don't know how somebody that size moves like that's crazy. By the way, Megatron is my favorite receiver of all time. Uh, if I was to ever start a franchise or anything and had to pick one receiver any era, I'm choosing Calvin Johnson to be my receiver over anybody. But I'm just giving you an example. There's Plet Jerry Rice with those examples. Calvin Johnson, Megatron, Jer uh, uh, Jer uh, fucking Randy Moss. There's so many different uh, receivers that are considered goats or near the goat you know list and they're so different they're nothing alike bro larry fitzgerald not really known for speed but crazy magnet hands great iq a lot of these guys have great hands could run routes and catch you notice that that's one of the things that they all do share uh similarities for the most part yeah rice was crazy bro uh justin says who's better Tio moss or rice i mean i think i think you could pick any of them and 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 have a have an a legitimate argument. People can people can uh, people need to understand how great all of them were. Terrell Owens was. Um, I got to watch his whole career. Uh, literally, um, I don't know if I. I don't. I'm, I'm trying to think of like receivers that are like built like that that are able to move like that. Um, I don't know what his 40, 40 was, but in pads he ran away from he ran away from people. Very strong, great hands, uh, a leader. Uh, yeah, he um, Terrell Owens was a fucking savage, bro, a beast. Um, if I was to choose between those three, I'm cho I'm choosing uh, I'm choosing Randy Moss over J Jerry Rice and Terrell Owens. And it's no slight on uh, in, on any of them. I just think that that Randy Moss, he had that speed where he could just outrun angles like Chris Johnson, like Tyreek Hill. Um, there's certain guys that, that were able to do that, um, but not many people can do that like consistently. And he's always been able to do that. And that type of speed is 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 rare. There's not many receivers who can get to that type of speed. I don't know if anyone can. Uh, Tyree kill for sure. Uh, but it's, um, it's rare and that type of speed is unique. That's why I, uh, uh, I would choose Randy Moss and, and he's not, and again, he's not just fast. He jumps for balls. He, I, I mean, literally when I was growing up, the term you got mossed, that's what we said. That's what we said. You got mossed. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers that. You got mossed. If you grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, you say you got mossed. If you played outside. I know a lot of you guys sit on the couch, don't even fucking look up and acknowledge people walking by to go to the shitter. It's weird. It's like everyone's programmed into their couch. Sit down into the couch and charge your ass. I mean, it's crazy, right? What are we doing, guys? Go outside and breathe the fresh fucking air. It smells great. It feels great. Pause. Jesus, bro. I love it, man. I love it. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody for showing up, man. I appreciate everybody for showing up, man. I really do. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, we got about five more minutes, man. We need nine more likes. Can we get those likes to 50 so we can extend, bro? Can we get it to 50? It's crazy, man. It really is. I'm so excited for this season. I, I know all of you are. I know everybody is. It's just one of those, it's just one of those, it's just one of those seasons where it's almost time. It's almost time to get back into the ring, you know, Rocky Balboa style. And even when the chips are, you know, chips are down, cards against you, everything, you know, nobody believes in you. It doesn't matter because the Tennessee Titans fans know how, <laughs> we know how good our team is. The Texans fans are confused. They're over there running around still celebrating like they won the Olympics or something. It's crazy. The Jaguar fans are acting like there's they're they're really still that team, but deep down they're crying inside knowing they're going to be on the bottom. Pause. Uh and then uh you have you have the Colts who are nobodies, who are going nowhere, who overpaid for the same players who took them nowhere. <laughs> so have fun with that, you guys. I appreciate you guys. 
Um, it's crazy. Every single stream, this one almost hit 300 people watching. Every single stream, we're getting higher and higher and higher in views, likes, comments, everything, you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Continue to comment. Do all that fun stuff. Um, I appreciate you guys more than you know. I want you guys to know that. Um, thank you guys for showing up, man. I hate to cut this off right now. I don't want to. Um, but um, we're going to be live again tomorrow. We're going to make a few adjustments. Tomorrow we'll be back to a two-hour show. But we're going to make a few adjustments with the mods and, um, and, uh, and get up the new layouts. Because I think it's time that we do that. It's been too long. And... Um, you guys are going to love it, man. I, I really think you will. So, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tighten up code blue Cyclops swag. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love you guys, man. Remember, I'm him. I'm that blue Cyclops Bret Hart. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ha.